My name is Jennifer Turner and I lived in New Auburn at Barker Mill Arms for 18 years. Barker Mill is an apartment complex for people with disabilities and elderly people. We knew that on my income, I wasn't going to be able to construct a house I could use, pay for the lawn, and have the adaptive equipment I needed on my own. And initially, they were gonna have me just go and they were gonna do the talking. And then it became apparent to all of us that we didn't think the city council was gonna wave in my direction about a tax acquired piece of property. So I decided to speak. And they ran a story in the paper. The title of it was something like New Auburn's Flower Lady Dreams of a New Home. <laughs> and Tammy lived in, in Manhattan. And I hadn't seen Tammy in 25 years since the day we graduated from high school. She contacted me and she said, what can I do to help? And she's a structural engineer. So the first thing she did was design the house, exactly how it would work for me. Tammy made it her mission to raise the money, both through volunteer workers, monetary donations, and that type of stuff to make the house happen. Everywhere, I have a minimum of four and a half feet. And for me, that's plenty even with the power chair. Um, it's more than I've ever had anywhere else. Um, keep in mind, I came from a place that had 27 inch doorways. Everybody has that cupboard where their stuff gets lost in the back. And there's nothing worse than having to take out 10 pods to get the one you want in the bottom. <laughs> you know, and that's how every cupboard has ever worked anywhere I've lived. The pot rack works very successfully, you push the button and it comes down low enough for me to reach the pots, but it also elevates them high enough that I can use the island because that's the most used space in the kitchen. As far as the cabinets go, the best thing in the world, the Lazy Susan, most people I think usually put food on a Lazy Susan. They use it for you know cereal and stuff like that from any house that I've been in. And I use mine for all my small appliances, my toaster, blender, crock pot, whatever, and I can bring them right to my reach to be able to pick them up and take them out. And the most used item in the house is the outlet. I've never had an outlet that I can just perfectly reach and there's one right on the side of the island and you just go like this and I plug in every small appliance, I charge my phone there, I charge everything, you know. That's, it's just so easy to use. And sometimes it's the small things that give you the most independence. Found a old nightstand at a garage sale and gave it a new fresh coat of stain and my dad knocked some wheels on it and it's the most used piece of furniture in the house. I can take things off the cooktop, bring them to the sink, whatever, but I have a pot filling faucet and that is fantastic. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm boiling eggs for potato salad or if I'm making spaghetti. It's very, very handy to not have to carry even a small pot of water around. I have pendant lighting from the ceiling so that it's excellent reading, reading light without having to have a bedside table. Actually, it's better than a bedside table for the, as far as the light goes. And that lighting is set up on remote control so I can turn it on as I go in the room on the actual switch, but I have a remote that I can turn it off from bed so that I don't have to get back up in the lift. The washer and dryer are in my bedroom, right off the bathroom. In the original plan for the house, they were in the garage in their own little utility room. I vetoed, vetoed that real quick because I would have to carry my laundry everything but the kitchen towels, the whole length of the house. And this is a long, narrow house. <laughs> and I didn't foresee that that made sense. So I was willing to forego a second closet in my bedroom and put the washer and dryer in there because where I make the most of my laundry is in the bedroom in the bathroom. I think everybody was more concerned about me being out the in the country area, even though I'm close to the city, than I was because I grew up in the country. But to them, they were like, well, you lived at Parker and there was always somebody next door. And there was, you know, but I grew up that way. And I'm really happy being 
out enough that you feel sort of out of the middle of the city. Thank you.